Hello, and welcome to our introduction to fiber optics, the first in a series of modules intended to help you become comfortable with the understanding, specifying, and installing of fiber. My name's Gary Vlamink, and I oversee the training and certification initiatives at Clearline Technology Group. Fiber optics has been around for decades, with a proven reputation for reliability, the ability to stand the test of time, as well as the evolution of technology. In the next few minutes, I'll explain the key benefits to using fiber instead of traditional infrastructure products such as category cable. We'll also see why fiber is now relevant to the AV industry and as a medium to transport in data over that all important physical layer of any IP based infrastructure. We'll talk more about the different types of fiber in module two. In the meantime, here are a couple of interesting little facts about fiber. Multimode fiber, can transmit 100 gigabits of data per second up to approximately 150 meters or 500 feet. That's 100 times 10 to the power 9 bits per second, or the number 100 with nine zeros after it, bits per second. Single mode fiber can theoretically transmit 1.2 petabits of data per second up to an indefinite distance. That's 1.2 times 10 to the power 15. Or 1.2 with 14 zeros after it, bits per second. With these capabilities, fiber can transmit more data over longer distances and at far greater speeds than any other medium we know of. Just as importantly, the latency in time between transmitting and receiving that data is almost zero a critical element to t uh, traditional networks as well as voice over IP systems. Unlike copper and other types of medium, fiber has no metallic or electrically conductive components to it. This makes fiber immune to things like power surges, EMI, RFI, ground loop interference, and lightning strikes. It also means it won't corrode over time. Fiber and the components that connect to the ends of it have also come way down in price. To give a comparison, the types of fiber generally used to connect two IP switches together is called a duplex fiber. We'll discuss that in more detail in the next module. A thousand foot of, or 305 meters of this particular fiber is now roughly the same price as a spool of good quality Cat6A shielded. Most people don't realize that fiber is considerably lighter in weight than twisted pair, making it much easier to handle. A thousand foot, 305 meters of shielded Cat6 is approximately 50 pounds or 23 kilos with a diameter of around eight millimeters or quarter inch. The equivalent length of fiber weighs around seven pounds or just three kilograms, depending on the strand count and is only three millimeters in diameter. Fiber is also a lot more durable than in past years. In fact, the technology built into Clearline fiber not only makes it stronger than any twisted pair cable, but it also makes it easier to terminate than category cable. Given a little practice, an end-to-end -end clear line fiber can be successfully terminated in about a minute. From an AV perspective, today's HDMI specification 2.0 calls for 18 gigabit per second data throughput. The new spec, HDMI 2.1, calls for 48 gigabit in order to accommodate all of the cool new features such as enhanced high definition audio, frame by frame high dynamic range, and the deeper brighter colors we see today. Discussions of, the, of this going into 178.2 uh, gigabit in the coming generations of HDMI are already in place. These talk about 10K resolutions at 120 hertz refresh rates with 444 color sampling and 16 bit color depths with virtual reality. CAT6A cannot transmit data beyond 10.2 gigabit per second at its maximum rated frequency of 500 megahertz. And therefore, all systems using category cable must compress the signal down to at least 10.2 gig in order to com be compatible with an 18 gig source and content. If you need to deliver today's 4K with HDR over more than just a few meters, fiber really is your best solution. <laughs> 